going on guys? I'm Brian Schmidt and today I'm going to show you all how to perform the dumbbell bent over row. So the first thing we're going to do is find an open dumbbell rack that you're going to claim as your own territory because while you're exercising no one is going to bother you over here. I'm just kidding. So that's probably like my gym pet peeve number 23 on the list. Now what you're really going to do is grab a dumbbell from the rack and we're going to walk it over to the closest available flat bench. Now, this exercise is going to predominantly target your lats, but it's also going to help hit your rhomboids, your traps, even your posterior deltoid, and your biceps. So, let's go ahead and get set up. We're going to start with the dumbbell on the right-hand side of the bench. So, our left hand is going to rest towards the front of the bench. Our left knee on the same side is going to rest towards the back of the bench. Now, a lot of people with the right leg have it way back here for some reason. What I'm going to re recommend and what I do is I have my right leg outstretched towards the side and that's going to help you maintain balance during each rep. Now this is the most important part is you're going to maintain a neutral spine the entire time. So what I mean by that is your chest and abs should be facing the floor. You're going to, instead of looking up with your neck the entire time like you're checking yourself out in the mirror, you're gonna have your head facing the ground and that's gonna help you maintain that neutral spine. So as far as grip goes, a lot of people prefer this whole um, hook grip method. What I like to do is squeeze with my thumb and fingers all the way around the dumbbell. I like to squeeze it as hard as I can the entire time because that's also gonna help engage other muscles during the lift, such as your forearms and biceps, your secondary muscles. So let's go ahead and actually do some reps. What you're gonna do, grip the dumbbell, and as you begin to lift, you're gonna bend at the elbow, bring the dumbbell up towards your hips, and as you near the top, you're gonna to retract your shoulder blades together, squeeze at the top as hard as you can, and bring the dumbbell back down, outstretching your shoulder and arm to a full extension. And that's one rep. Now same thing, bring the dumbbell up towards your hips, Retract your shoulder blades, squeeze, back down. Do a couple more reps. So then obviously we would switch to the other side and perform the desired reps on that side for your left arm. And with that, obviously, your right hand and right knee would be on the bench, your left leg would be outstretched, and you'd be lifting with your left arm. Now, that's the most common way to perform this exercise. Now, I do it a little bit differently. It's very similar, but for you advanced guys out there that really want to get the most out of your dumbbell rows, I perform the dead stop from the floor method. So the only thing really different is each rep you're gonna be lifting the dumbbell up to the top, squeezing as hard as you can, and then bringing the dumbbell back down till it hits the floor. Let the dumbbell come to a complete stop between each rep. Rest a second, not really rest, but pause a second, and then lift it back up again. So we'll do a few reps here. Ready? You can see my shoulders and arm's gonna have to extend even farther down. Squeeze at the top. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right, and that way right there, you're really gonna be hitting your full upper back doing that method. You're gonna, it's going to help you build size and strength. So, hope you guys like that. That's two different variations. Obviously, if you are new, do the first one. Maybe work up to the second one if you want to try that out. So, that's all I got for you guys. As always, make sure to click that thumbs up button. I definitely appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time. Hey everyone, it's Brian. If you like this video and would like to further support our channel, make sure to visit our official Patreon page. Every contribution helps us to continue making great quality videos. Thanks again for watching.